Hello, everybody. Uh, greetings, Pastor Andrew here, um, coming to you for your uh, our, our daily devotion time. And so, uh, so it's been a little bit since uh, since I did a video, and so so I do apologize for that. But uh, but I'm glad I'm able to uh, to be with you guys today. And so um, so as I was trying to think about what exactly did I want to do, uh, you know, for this message, um, and so I started thinking about throughout this whole week um, what I preached on on Sunday. So here at St. Peter's, uh, Pastor. Jim and I have been going through uh, the book of Acts, and so our whole uh, summer sermon series has been been on the book of Acts. And so, um, what I want to share with you guys today is a, is a little bit of that sermon, but then um, you know a little bit of my uh, my afterthoughts. And so, what I want to share with you guys is I don't know if you have ever heard it bo shared before, but I'm sure that you probably have. And that you know, oftentimes us as pastors, whenever we preach a sermon. Uh, very likely, <laughs> we are actually, you know, kind of preaching to ourselves. We're kind of preaching to the choir a little bit. You know, the stuff that we say, oh, we need to work on this is oftentimes what we need to work on in our own lives. And so, um, you know, through this whole uh, pandemic and through everything that's been going on, you know, with the resurgence of cases and everything, you know, I just have been feeling, um, you know, a little bit down, a little bit... Um, you know, confused, frustrated, like what, what, okay, so what do we need to do next? Um, but then I was reminded of what I preached on on Sunday. And so what I want to share with you guys is, a, is a, the scripture text and then, um, you know, a little bit of my, my thought afterwards. And so, so I want to share with you uh, from the book of Acts, uh, chapter five, uh, verses 17 to 21. So again, that's chapter, Acts chapter five, 17 to 21. It says this, then the high priest took action. He and all his colleagues, those who belonged to the party of the Sadducees, were filled with jealousy. So they arrested the apostles and put them in the city jail. But an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail during the night, brought them out and said, Go, stand in the temple complex and tell the people all about this life. In obedience to this, they, enter, they entered the temple complex at daybreak and began to teach. And so uh, what I, what I want to share with you guys today is my, a little bit of my thought, um, you know, throughout this whole week. And it is whenever you look at the, you know, the apostles during this time, uh, what, what's interesting here is, you know, they, they must have been feeling a, a little bit of, I don't know, maybe anxiousness, uh, fright, um, nervousness. I don't know. Maybe they were confident the entire time. I, I don't really know, but I know that if I was in their shoes, I'd be feeling a, a little bit uh, leery. What exactly was going to happen to us now that we we're arrested? I mean, it would feel kind of you know dark, a little bit of hopeless, a little bit of uh, well, what are we going to do now? Kind of deal. Um, but what I always like to, to to think about, and what I've been thinking about over the last couple of weeks, is that although it may be hard to see, we know we have the confidence to know, you know, that God is always there and that God is always working and God is always doing a mighty, mighty thing, whether, you know, we see it in the moment or we see it later or we look back and say, wow, God was really, really working there. And I, and I think that this is evidence here. You know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm sure that the apostles were, well, what are we going to do now that we're in jail? And so then they may think, well, God, maybe God isn't with us. Maybe we aren't doing the right things. But we see here how the apostles, they have the faith and they have the confidence and they have the trust in God that although, yeah, things may look bad right now, but God's still working. God is still there. God is still present whether or not we, you know, we tangibly see him. And, and I, and as I'm thinking, you know, as we are, you know, struggling with, with COVID and, you know, how do we come back to church? How do we do ministries? How do we do Sunday school? How do we do all of these things? There are so many questions and there's so many, um, you know, different paths and, you know, nobody has the right answer. But what I do know is that that God is working and that God is in control and that no matter what happens and no matter the outcome, that whenever we surrender our own wills, our own human desires and our own fleshly desires, we surrender all of those to God and say, say God, you are in control. Take control of my life. I do not want to follow my own will. I do not want to follow my own plans. I do not want to follow my own ambitions. But Lord, I want to follow your plan. And I want to follow what you have called me to do and what you have placed on my heart and my life. And I think whenever we do all of those things, you know, then we start moving in the right direction. Now, granted, that doesn't mean things are going to magically get better, that things are going to, you know, all of a sudden change. Now, granted, God has the power to do that, but that doesn't necessarily mean you know that it's going to happen overnight 
And so I think it takes a continual effort for all of us, for all of us in times of prayer, during our, our times of devotion, during our times of scripture. You know, Lord, I, I, I surrender what is going on, Lord, and, I, and, and you are in control. And that whatever you do, Lord, you're going to do in a mighty, mighty way. And I think we need to continue to remind ourselves of that. You know, although things may look dark and things may look confusing and things may look... Um, you know, a little frustrating right now, but we have to know and have the faith that God is in control and that God is working. You know, that we ultimately must seek, you know, during these times of confusion and, and uncertainty, you know, what does God want us to do? What is scripture telling us to do? And at the end of the day, you know, that's all we can do. That's all that we can strive to do is just draw nearer to God and follow his word. And I think whenever we do those things, you know, everything else kind of starts to fall into place. So if you're feeling a little anxious, if you're feeling a little, um, I don't know, confused or frustrated or anger or sadness or wh whatever it is, surrender all of those uh, feelings and thoughts and emotions over to God and, 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 and truly, truly draw nearer to him during your times. You know, oftentimes, um, you know, a prayer, and that's what we love about having a relational God is that we can have those moments of, Lord, I need you. I need you. I need you in my life. And so continue to strive to, to seek God in all that you do. And, and we can have the confidence and the faith to know that God is going to take care of it. So continue to be encouraged. Continue to seek God in all that you do and continue to, to glorify God in all that you do. So please be encouraged. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in for uh, for this devotion time. And I, I look forward to seeing all of you guys on uh, Sunday morning. Uh, God bless.